What's up, guys? Welcome to Talking to Fans, episode 32. I'm sorry for, like, the whole thing last time. I put the episode as 31, but it was supposed to be 30. So, we're just going to roll with 32. So, before we get into this, I got to give a huge shout-out to Baseball Lifestyle. I've teamed up Baseball Lifestyle in their brand-new ambassador program. And, uh, yeah, definitely go check them out. You got everything baseball. They're trying to grow the game just as I am. Got merchandise, shorts, shorts, shirts, sweaters. I mean, you you got anything. So, yeah, definitely go give them a follow and go check them out. And, um, yeah, so let's get into this podcast. Today's guest is Ain't Too Blessed. What's up? What's up? Welcome, welcome on. How you doing? I'm doing good. How about you? Doing great. Nice. So, let's start off with like, who's your favorite team and why? My um, favorite team is the um, New York Yankees. Like, been keeping up with the Yankees since I was little. You know, being being Dominican, you know, coming and coming here to the. The New York area, you know, a lot of Dominicans are Yankees fans. Like, let me just follow me. No, since then, I've just been a Yankees fan. Yeah, and guys, I gotta say sorry for that barking, but there's nothing I can do about it. Um, so yeah. Who is your favorite player on the Yankees, and why? Judge. Judge yep. is my, my, like, my favorite best player. My favorite player on the Yankees since 2017. I mean, I saw this picture of him, like, he had a beard, which, that looked crazy, and he was just so intensive with that beard, because, you know, the Yankees and their clean, clean shaving rule, but he he looked good with it. I feel like the Yankees should just take that out, just, to, like, stop rocking with, with the old style, like, it's the new generation, like, stop with that. It's the one thing, it's the one thing about the New York Yankees franchise is, that's the rule, the clean shaving thing. And no one in sports, no team has it, which I guess that's kind of unique, but. I mean, I certainly don't agree with them because they say, oh, I feel like one day Yankees players are just going to um go at it and be like, let's change that rule. And the thing is, does that affect the signing? But it really hasn't so far, but. One thing it could affect is them signing Braves first baseman or former Braves first baseman Freddie Freeman because we know he has a little bit of something. Freeman, ah, uh, I would love Freeman, but I just feel like Yankees could just get a more younger first baseman in Matt Olson. Yeah, Matt Olson. I mean, he's going to have more time to progress and be in a uniform, so maybe in the long run, that's good for y'all. But there's something that I certainly not got um, so concerned about. Every player that the Yankees sometimes trade for or sign don't perform good. Yeah. But I feel like Matt Olsen could definitely, you know, take the pressure in the Bronx and just hit left and bombs. He could, like, Matt Olsen in that ballpark, in that Yankee Stadium with the short ports and right. It, it's just a match made in heaven with that. Scary. It is, but I feel like with Matt Olson on the Yankees, it's going to make y'all's lineup a whole lot more scarier. And also, with Joey Gallo, Lefty too. Oh, man. The Yankees are going to be unstoppable. Yeah, they're going to be they're gonna be pretty good. And you got Gallo. They maybe need to, if they can, maybe go after one more Lefty, but that's about it. They're going to be good oh, uh, if they get Olsen. Will you, tell, I mean, okay. will you take a lefty starter or a lefty reliever? For the Yankees, I would take a lefty starter. And I'm looking at one starter right now, but I'm going to say, let me go, let me go check something out. Because I don't know what starters are in the free agent, like what um, lefty starters are in the free agent right now. Yeah, while you're looking that up, I'm just, while you're looking that up, I'm gonna ask you another question. We'll come back to it when you got it looked up. But um, okay. for you, what like kind of motivated you to start like even making your edits? Because one thing is 
you're very consistent because I've looked at your account and that's how we've gotten in touch. And you've been consistent with your edits, so like what motivates you to stay consistent? Um, the lockout, man. The lockout, you know, lockout really messed up a lot of stuff for for um for the game of baseball. And I just like, okay, the baseball community is, is going down little by little. So I'm like, why not me start going, you know, making edits? You know, some of the edits are actually not mine, you know, I gotta be real with that. Some edits I partner with on other people. Yeah, I mean, at least you're still doing your uh, thing, so that's awesome. But yeah, so I got the picture right here. I've been, I've been, on uh, um, it's called look, looking at his stats for a little while. You know, since his free agent started, and this Carlos Rodon. That is one, yeah. Carlos Rodon, he could be a great that's Yankee. That's the main picture that won the Yankees is fine. That wouldn't be a bad match, honestly. You, you got Carlos Rodon at Yankee Stadium. I mean, when you think about it, that match is pretty good. It's pretty good to be honest. I like that. Yeah. Rodon, man. Okay, well, let me look, let me go look at his um twenty twenty one stats. He threw a no hitter. I'll get you started with that. Where are the stats? So he has a five point zero WAR. Pretty nice. He thirteen. He won thirteen games and lost five. With a two point three seven ERA. That's awesome. That's. That's not bad, and he threw a no-hitter as well, like I just said, so he did have it last year for sure. The Yankees could get him, like, let me see, what country for him? Because I feel like Yankees will probably get him on a, you know, that contract that Liam Hendricks signed? Yeah, like a three-year deal. With the White Sox, yeah, he'll definitely get a similar contract to that. Yeah, I mean, one question I had about the White Sox is you got Liam Hendricks and Craig Kimbrell we were fighting for that um, closing spot down there in Chicago. And um, okay. there are a lot of talks that Kimbrell was going to get traded. Do you think he's going to get traded? And if he does get traded, where do you think he goes? My opinion that he will... Let me see. What team needs... Uh, Angels. For me, Angels. I feel like him having um, right style Iglesias and Kimbrell and that, you know... Reliever, closer type of um, rotation, it won't be bad. Yeah, I mean, you, to, you got the Angels, you got the Phillies, the Marlins could even maybe pick up on uh, a little bit. Honest, you, I would definitely like them on the Phillies. Yeah, the Phillies. Kind of, the Phillies, the Phillies haven't like run at him before. Yeah, the Phillies like look like a good spot for him. I'm, I'm not going to lie about that. Yeah, same here. So. About the Braves and, and Freeman, right? Yeah. Do you think that he will actually resign? I think he will, but I just don't know. Because the chance, like a day that goes by, like I know we can't do anything about it, and so can the Braves, because the walkout is happening, as we know. But it seems like as the days go by, the less and less Freddie Freeman's going to resign. But uh, I'm still hoping. Because Fre Freddie Freeman's been, like, my favorite player for as long as I can say. So, he's been the heart and soul of this Braves team. And he was the, one of the reasons why we won the World Series this past year. And so, to see him get a ring this past year was um, it's really awesome. And, yeah, I hope we resign him. I feel like, yeah, I feel like that if he leaves, that'll be... be on uh, my point, I don't know what's your point of view, but on my point, if he leaves, that's the whole betrayal. Betrayal. Come on, you got uh, you have a good two team over there, Acuna, Aussie. Like, why would you want to leave that? Like, and if y'all need a first, not another first baseman, like, just uh, maybe get uh, um Resto. Maybe, maybe it's not Resto at DH. Yeah, there's yeah, even talks about DH might, might come, right? Yeah. Oh, nah. What if um Brave signed Rosario and Soler back? Then Osuna is gonna have to DH. Yeah, and Ozuna will probably DH anyway, because that's what he did in 2020, and I don't see him yeah, not. My man's having been balling out. He's been balling out in the Dominican League. Yeah, he's been doing some good stuff. I've been keeping an, an eye, and to see him, see what he's doing in the Dominican League right now is just pretty awesome. Like, yeah. 
and hopefully he has a good comeback next season. I mean, you know, he had, he was, yeah, okay, can lie, he had, he had a good season going, then boom, domestic violence, oh, he out. Yep. Man. But, Roddy, I'm, I'm kind of proud for that, because the Braves, um, if the Braves would have never, like, if a, I don't know, what if a Suna, um, you know, didn't happen, but, uh, like, whatever happened didn't happen, Braves could not, I think, especially could have not won that. Yeah, next, next question. The Yankees were uh, looking good. Yeah, for sure. But, like, the next question I got for you, it's about your account. Um, What's, like, the best thing that's probably ever happened with you and your TikTok, if you had to name one? My best thing? Yeah, best thing that's ever happened to your TikTok. I mean, for me, it's just, like, having fun. Like, uh, I'm my first, okay. Um, my first ever, vi- our ever video was when they announced, you know, Gold Glover, and I posted a a Joey Gallo one. Um, you know, Joey, Joey Gallo yeah. won the um, Gold Glove oh, winner. So uh, I posted that video, and I got 577 views in 13 in 15 likes. Then I'm like, okay. Then I started posting. The, the best thing happened to me was that standing video. Yeah, that standing oh, video you have is ten. So that Stanton video you have is pen, so it must must have been pretty good for you. Yeah, I know. I was feeling really excited about that. I'm like seven hundred and eighty four, wow. But looking back, that video got thirty likes, right? But I look at the video that I posted four hours ago, it has thirty likes already. Oh, wow. So it just beats it basically is gonna be that that Stanton video that has seven hundred and eighty four views. To a video that has 210 views, 2 hours, and 30 likes. Yeah. Like, I'm growing. Oh, also, um, I posted another stand video with 55 likes. Oh, dang, that was that's, that's pretty good. I mean, you're doing something right, because when I was at your following, I was not getting any likes at all. So, for, for you doing your thing is pretty awesome, and I hope to expect you to, like, grow. That'd be sick. Oh, definitely, definitely, you know. Yeah, guys. Like you gave me, like you know, you you gave me a little shout out, so, you know, and the people will probably listen. Yeah, and guys. On my other account, I'm about to reach um 2k. Oh, you got you got a 2k account too? Wow. Well. Not 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 a 2k like 20, but like uh, it's like a Brooklyn Nets um stuff. Oh. I used to post um a lot, a lot of like motivational videos. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, no. I, I deleted a lot of videos, dog. That account had 11.4 likes. 4K likes. Yeah, and I and I, I deleted um, half of those videos. Now I have, and then, you know, when you when you delete a video, TikTok, um, you know, takes the like away. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um. Oh, I got a question for you. Yeah. What made you um start um posting TikTok videos? Now that I'm like seeing your account right now, right? like I, I, I'm looking at your account right now, right here. Yeah. Like, um, what made you do it? What motivated me is just um, just, I was bored and like really loved baseball. I've always loved baseball since like 2017, and I always kind of wanted to be a creator and just whatever. And then I decided like one day. Hey, I'm just going to start making TikToks, and if I blow up, I blow up. But, um, yeah, so I was making TikToks for about, like, three months. And if you're an OG, y'all know this story. I was making TikToks for, like, three months. I wasn't really getting much views, maybe about 50 to 100, maybe 200 views a video. But, um, yeah, man, like, after then, like, about March 11th, which is coming up, March, March 11th of last year, 2021, was really the day it kind of just got got going because I got 250 followers in one day and then just about a week later I was at 2K. So yeah, and just, which one, which um, video was it? The it really wasn't a video. I just started getting a lot of followers actually. Wow. Yeah, usually it's just one video that blows you up, but for me it was just. <laughs> Getting a lot of followers, and uh, yeah. 
Yeah, a lot of like sports, including the baseball, like yeah, a lot of that's baseball that's people. That's what I follow. Yeah. I follow a lot of people that are like the baseball related, football edits, everything. Yeah, for me, it's just like baseball, some football, but not really much. And uh, like the baseball people I follow, it's just them posting football edits. That's really what the football content I see. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now, and yeah, you got a lot of stuff. Yeah, I mean. I've been making videos for over a year now, and just the journey it's been is better than anything. I mean, I'm definitely going to, like, this is just a warning for y'all. I'm definitely going to be, like, making videos on March 11th, like, about the account and about, like, how it's been a year since I started making TikToks, so... I mean, yeah, like, March 11th of 2021, I, I don't think I'll ever forget that day, because you guys made that special. To be honest with you, it's like, you just can't give up on TikTok. Huh? You just cannot give up on TikTok, to be honest, because TikTok is one of those random apps that you can just, boom, get no views, wake up next day, oh, you got a lot of views, like, it's like that. I mean, I've had several videos go viral, and just y'all getting, y'all giving me the support. Like, I mean, you just said you have a video that has 800 views. I have more than that in an hour, so, and it's, like, because of y'all. You average, um, you basically average 3,000 plus views a uh, video. Yeah, it's, it's all thanks to y'all. Like, without you guys, it, this would not be possible, and... I cannot wait for this journey to just keep going, and, yeah. To be real, uh, can I, I want to tell you the story how I found your Instagram account. Yeah, I was wondering about that, I, so. Yeah, so I was just scrolling and looking um, on IG, because my TikTok wasn't working. So, oh, th that, I think it was that day that TikTok was down once. Yeah, there was a day that TikTok was down, like, not too long ago. Yeah, well, yeah, so I was just scrolling, and I just put baseball edits on the, where you, where you can search people up, I put baseball edits. Then I'm just scrolling, oh, I, I see you, right? So, I better follow you. Then, like two weeks ago, like, um, the past two weeks, or like right now, the past two weeks, um, I find your, I'm like, I don't know, I definitely have seen, I've seen the, the, this guy over here. Then I follow you. I'm like, oh yeah, it's, it's definitely him. And like, yeah. And then I found you on TikTok. To be honest, and I didn't even know that that I follow that I follow you on TikTok. Oh, wow, that's sick. Because that Jock Peterson video you posted went on my um went on my for you page once. Oh, what was the Jock Peterson video? I forget about this one. Uh, let me see. Where is it? Right here. I don't know if it's Johnny Jock. Uh, it's a Jock Peterson. Yeah, it's the um, when Jock Peterson is smoking that um cigar, and then uh he he speaks. Oh yeah, that popped up on about everybody's for you page. I mean that's pinned, and man, it it just like I don't know what happened, but it just went super viral. Yeah, I don't know. And the positive thing that I that I'm seeing right here is that you did reply to a lot of people and like and like their comments. Yeah, that's my thing. I, I try and reply to almost every one of y'all because I know what it feels like to get ignore, ignore DMs and all this. And I mean, I try to reply to as much as y'all as possible because I don't want to bring that vibe and I want to like reply to everybody I possibly can, if not everybody. So like I do my best to make sure I reply and like everybody's comments, make sure I notice them. Another video that got that went viral for me. It was this um this uh what's it called um Mookie one, Mookie Best one. But that video, somebody else had it already. But well, I talked to the owner, the real owner of that video, the one who made it, and said, "Can I post it? Um, can I post that video?" And then you know he he 
he said yes. Um, you, you can post it since you know, since you're trying to grow your account. I'll I'll let you um post that video, and it actually did well for me. Six hundred nineteen views, with twenty five likes and a couple comments. Not bad. Yeah, man. I like that y'all come to me and say, "Hey, can you, I post this. Can I borrow the sound or whatever?" Like, I don't care, but. As long as y'all come to me, that makes me happy because, I mean, I'll say yes to y'all. Y'all just need to let me know. Like, b before y'all... the sound, I don't really matter about the sound. Because, you know, the sound is the sound. Like, you use somebody um, else's song, um, sound, it don't really matter. Because you actually, you don't got to talk to nobody about the sound, in my opinion. Because the sound is just there, and you can use it, and that gives them credit. Yeah, for me, it's just the videos. It's really the big thing. Yeah. I'm looking at a video right now that, you know, might have to get that from you. <laughs> yeah, you can use it if you want to. You can use sound, you can use whatever. Whatever you need to to grow your account, man. Because, uh, man, I'm all about that. You know, me, you, you know, have been actually, you know, starting to, like, talk more and stuff, you know. Yeah. Let me see, because there's a, this um, Osuna video. Let me see. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm not good. So this is a video. Um, you got ten, ten point eight k views. That my Marcelo Suna one. The Marlins one, yeah. Yeah, I'm uh, um, you know, I might have to get that one. Yeah, you can use it, man. Like y'all can use videos whenever y'all want. Yeah. You know, since you know, since me and you got connection, I just um text you whenever whenever I can like edit something. You know, I will just um text you and maybe you use one of your videos. Yeah, for sure. Just let me know and you can definitely use it. Yeah. The next question I got for you is like we were talking about Acuna earlier, a little bit, and when he got hurt, what went through your mind as a baseball fan? Me, I was that. Because I had it, me and my, I told my dad, oh, Acuna is going to win MVP this year. I told my dad, and Acuna was looking like an MVP of caliber, and you know that. Acuna, I saw the season before he got hurt, he was brought out going crazy. He gets injured, I, I, I get so sad. Yeah, I'm just him. My dad said, if Acuna wins MVP, I'll, I'll take it to the World Series. Wow. And guess what? I still won. Because um, the Braves is, is, is on his favorite team. Yeah. You know, me, me and my dad always have um, a competition on, on the Braves and Yankees. So, like, the next question for you is, like, have you been to any Yankees fan games? Have you, like... Okay, I'm over here with you. You might be disappointed, but a Yankees game, I have not been to one yet. But I have been to a lot of stadiums. I've been to seven stadiums so far. Nice. Like, where are you kind of at? Are you, like, close to a team or, like? Me, the most closest one is Yankee Stadium. And I have not been to it yet. Oh, wow. It's crazy. That's, cause... Probably, that's, that's probably going to be when the, when, if, when the Yankees make it. Okay. I forgot. The reason why I've been to a Yankees game is I, I'm not saying. So look, I told my dad when the Yankees make the World Series, I'm gonna go to Yankee Stadium for the first time. Yeah, I'm actually gonna have to cut this a little short because my phone's at one percent. But the last question I got for you is like, who do you challenge to come on the podcast? <clears throat> Can you repeat that one more time. Who do you challenge to come on the podcast? On the podcast challenge? Yeah. Definitely Diego. Diego, he's actually been on here before. Oh, Diego been on here already? Yeah, Diego Blanco. After that, then I just don't know, to be honest. Okay, that is that is actually like the first I don't know that we've gotten, so congrats, I guess. Congrats for that. All right. Um, all right, man. All right, so yeah, peace out, guys, and uh, I hope y'all enjoyed. I didn't say this at the beginning, but make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications on if you love baseball. Go, go follow my. All right.
Peace out, and yes. Right, yeah, say peace out to the YouTube. Peace out, boys. Like that video. Come on. Right, let's go. Let's go. Um. Yeah. All right. Peace out. Yeah. So yeah. Um. Yeah. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and um. Yeah. That's all I got. Peace out. Hey, the nation. Gotta say, hey, nation. Peace out, hey, nation.